Hello YouTube, Mr. Evans here with my vlog number, I don't even know, 122 I think? Whatever, uh, it is crazy late right now. Today is Thursday and the time is 9.57. Um, what my colleagues who have been reading the emails I've been sending out don't know is that I've been sending them from right over there at my desk. Um, afraid to leave school because of what I uh, found out, well, what all of us found out just a few hours ago, which is that due to um, fears of the coronavirus, um, uh, we'll be shifting to online instruction uh, starting Monday um, for uh, a while. And while I'm totally comfortable with that, just knowing that my students may not be comfortable with that is, um, it, it, it's made me very, like, I, I don't... <sighs> I have a very short amount of time with them, because the school day is shortened tomorrow, to try and make sure that they are ready for, um, weeks of online instruction. And my time, my planning time to get them ready for that is also extremely short. Um, plus, as the school's TTL, um, it's my responsibility to help staff get ready. I will not say my burden. I do not think of it as a burden. For me, helping staff who are confused about technology get ready for this massive shift we're going to be taking is like, this is why I do this work. This is what I want to do. Um, and even though it would be easier for me to bury my head in the sand and say like, look, I'm just here for the pedagogy of it all, the specifics of it, like I'll help you out if I can, but for, but I, I just, I feel like that would be very irresponsible of me. Um, I want teachers to feel safe and I want to be a part of that, and I think that in my position, I, I can do that, and so that's what I'm trying to do. But it does mean that I'm working on tying up a ton of loose ends right now. Um, I am going to be getting out of here right after this, um, but just, yeah, there's just so much. Um, we're in sort of a, um, a weird, panicky, crisis-y situation. Um, I'm not going to say crisis, but crisis -y situation. That's what, I'm, that's what I'll stick with. Um, and so, I think we're all just doing the best that we can. Um, and all of us are going to be overworked. And for me, that's what this looks like. Um, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog pretty quickly because I think that, uh, Everything I've said is like, it's, it's pretty big, um, and I don't really know what to say. Um, other than that, there's just a lot of feelings I have about this, but, uh, well, the custodian was going to come back in. Um, yeah, I said I'm going to try and keep this vlog quick. I've got a lot of feelings, a lot of thoughts about this. Um, and I just don't think I can share all of them. But what I'll go ahead and say is, uh, it's always a little bit bittersweet um, when things like this happen. Because on the one hand, yeah, it's nice that I'm not going to have to deal with classroom management for a while. Yeah, it's nice that I'm not going to have to um, wake up as early because, you know, even though I, I'm going to be ready to go at the normal school start time, um, I don't have to be, I don't have to worry about um, getting to school or doing really anything to get ready for school because I won't be going to school. Um, so that's definitely nice. Um, but on the flip side of things, it also means that um, there's just a lot of uncertainty, right? Like that's really what it comes down to. And the students, of course, are going to love this. They're going to love that they don't have to come to school. Which is, you know, that's fine, great, good for them. I, I love it too. But it, it also means that um, this support system, you know, like it or not, school is a part of every student's life. And um, this is part of the structure 
that uh, they work with on a day-to-day -day basis, and they're not going to have that structure at an unexpected time. Um, you know, and, and the district is doing things to alleviate it. For example, um, food services are actually still going to continue. Students can come in and still get, you know, I think lunches, um, and I think even breakfasts. So that's great. Um, but is it enough? Um, and then, of course, with online learning happening, it's just kind of like, Are students going to be able to make that shift? Because it, it is, I mean, if this were an online school, if this were a remote access school, like, like the college courses I'm taking through online learning right now, I had to take an entire course to prepare me to learn in the online environment. These students get 25 minutes to learn what I had a month to learn. It, it's it's crazy. It's just like how how can I give them all of this? Which brings me to my wonder quote of the day, which is that love is all there is is all we know of love. That's by Emily Dickinson. What a beautiful quote, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I meant to say YouTube. I'm very tired. What a beautiful quote, YouTube, and. That's how it, uh, it feels right now, a little bit. It's like, I don't, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot I don't know. But what I do know is I'm gonna to try to approach this situation with tenderness. I'm gonna to try to be there as, for my students as much as I can, even if I can't do it in person. And um, I think that's all any of us can do, just try our best and move forward and keep, keep, the, spirit, keep the spirit of education alive. Um, I'm going to name the three things that made me smile, and then I'm going to head right on out of here. I'm getting um, notifications, and I just don't know what they're, what they're for. One big thing that made me smile today is um, one of my students who's in a class that lately has just... I, I, I don't think I've been on top of my game. Uh, came in and was, was talking with her friend, and her friend was like, I wish I were back in this class, because uh, this student had been in, been in the class previously, and I, I just was like, no. <laughs> no, you do not. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good, you know, the students are good, I love it, I love them, um, but oof, it is a struggle every day, and it would be a struggle for you too, you know. But then the student that's actually in my class right now was like, it's not... Not bad, Mr. Evans. Like, it's okay. Um, and that was just huge. It's always nice to hear that positivity from them. Always. Another huge plus was... Um, I don't want to de delve too deeply into this, but suffice it to say... Um, I got kicked hard in the emotions today. Very, very hard. Harder than I've been... Maybe since my first year. Oh man, it just reached another level. But I debriefed with my students and I was honest with them. I said, this is what I'm feeling. Um, I'm sorry to have to, you know, I'm sorry that it might feel like I'm taking this out on you because it's not about you. Um, but I'm just dealing with this as best I can and um, I appreciate your support. And they were so, so supportive. Two of them even actually went out of their way to write uh, letters to me. They, they wrote letters that were just like, you know, stay positive, stay strong, Mr. Evans. I mean, those mean the world. Just, they really do. So thank you so much. Thank you to those students who did that. Um, and to all the rest of the students that were supportive. I mean, just, just not making things more difficult to me is, is hugely supportive and many students dead. And the third thing is, um, you guys, my day was, I just told you about why it was rough. Um, this whole situation is rough. And in all of it, the district, the school, our administrators, the other teachers have all been so, so supportive. And so, um, huge thank yous to them. Um, thank you for the support, and 
I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with, with vlogs in the upcoming uh, weeks because I just don't know. They'd all be from home. I'm not going to be here, but um, I might do them anyway. I don't know. To be decided. Um, have to, gonna have to see if I have anything to even share, so. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably try to do at least a few, let you know how the online learning thing is going, and, uh, yeah. So that's what's gonna happen. I will go ahead and end the vlog right there, YouTube. You have a great rest of your night. I will see you tomorrow, and you have a great, uh, oh, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Wow, brain's all over the place. Bye-bye, YouTube.